Ah, okay, guys. Uh, welcome to the financial modeling course, and today we are going to discuss about the uh, net present value. You know, a net present value is very easy to calculate in MS Excel. Uh, today, let's say uh, we are going to calculate the net present value of this cash flow stream. Okay, and uh, we are. Uh, supposed to calculate the net present value at this time which is zero and zero means today and this column you see we have year that is zero one two three and four and in this column we have the cash flows 200 uh, 100 100 100 and 100 and uh, let's assume that the discount rate is 10 percent and we are required to calculate the net present value of this cash flow stream so it is very easy uh, let me type the npv here and, and here and this cell uh, i am going to calculate the npv so as usual uh, in excel uh, when we are going to calculate any formula first of all we have to type equal sign here and then uh, you just type npv you see the npv is here now double click the npv and uh, you see it required some information this rate you know the rate is the discounting rate which we which you have to specify here and that is the 10 percent in our example so just write here and uh, type comma and after that you just um, select all these cash flows and uh, close the bracket here and uh, press enter you will see the net present value of this cash flow stream is 400 69.99 rupees okay it is very easy and i hope you got it uh, and let me tell you something else about the npv and that is in some cases we have the npv uh, sorry in the cash flow stream we have the negative uh, cash flows if you see uh, here like for example uh, in our um, in our um, daily life uh, we have uh, we have to make uh, investment and the making investment is negative cash flow that's why uh, for example we invest 200 uh, rupees today and after one year we have the uh, 100 cash flow again 100 100 and 100 okay and uh, we are going to calculate the npv of this cash flow stream in which we have the uh, 200 negative or cash outflow and this uh, case the npv calculation will be a little bit different okay and uh, what is the difference between the two method is that uh, here uh, in the npv as you know we have to minus this amount the initial investment from the uh, discounted uh, amount of these cash flows and the npv do not have that factor in the formula that's why uh, what you are going to do is to uh, just type the equal sign here and then you click here this one and uh, type plus okay and uh, after this plus uh, you just type npv okay uh, this is the npv here again and uh, the same procedure you just type on the discounting rate comma again the cash flows select it close the bracket and just press enter again you see now the present value of this cash flow stream because we are having minus 200 the cash outflow as well that's why now the net present value is 11 and uh, sorry 116.99 rupees and in that case where we uh, didn't uh, has any negative cash flows the net present value was about 316 or 60 rupees something like that uh, so these are the two methods which i uh, wanted to tell you about the calculation of net present value i hope it helps and uh, it will help more if you have any query or uh, if you want me to do something else in this regard uh, just comment below and uh, i will answer uh, what I'm supposed to answer. Thank you guys. Now, please, if you uh, like our and if you uh, understood the calculation, uh, please try to subscribe our channel and share it with your friend as well. Thank you guys. Bye bye. See you in next video.